Hey everyone, I want to talk to you about the missing person case concerning Becky Jo Look from 1995. We have a video from the family that we would like you to watch. Hi, we're Becky Jo Look's daughters, Laura and Misty. Our sister Holly couldn't be here with us tonight. So we're speaking on her behalf. Um, you recently heard from the Kitson County Sheriff's Department about our mom's missing person case. And we wanted to take an opportunity to speak with you as well. Our mom, Becky, disappeared nearly 23 years ago from Halma, Minnesota, where she was living with her then boyfriend, Todd Spieldy, in October of 1995. When we discovered that she was missing, we hoped that we would find her and we feared the worst at that time. And despite our efforts and that of the authorities over the years, we've never had an answer. And so, Recently, uh, there's been some developments, if you will, and we wanted to talk with you a little bit about that. Um, in April, my grandmother passed away, Becky's mom. On her last day, um, we promised her that we would continue looking for our mom. And over the last few months, we've been in contact with Deputy Vig. He has um, been so persistent with this case in looking for our our mother and some members of your community have come forward with really valuable information and for that we're so thankful we are missing some some pieces of information however and in order to to you know move forward with the case and move forward with with possibly unlocking the secrets to our disappearance so we're um, we're coming to you asking for possible information um, any, anything small um, that might actually give us answers to her disappearance. Um, Becky was our mom. She was a, a daughter and a mother and a sister and an aunt. She is now a grandmother to eight beautiful grandchildren, ages 18 down to two years old. So we just want the community of Kitson County to, one, hear our message and hear a little bit more about our mom and, and just, again, um, stress to you that if you think that there may be some little piece of information that you have, no matter how small, could be very important. And we are just desperate to finally have some closure um, to what has really been a mystery for our entire family and a heartbreak for our grandmother. Uh, who we always had hoped would have some answers before she passed away and um, as you heard that that didn't happen but we are still hopeful and more hopeful than we have ever been before because there has truly never been one shred of information in nearly 23 years so please if there's anything that you think you might be con able to contribute to um, this case and the search for our mom Please reach out to the Kitson County Sheriff's Department, to uh, Deputy Vig, or anybody there. And um, we just thank you for taking some time to listen to what we have to say tonight. Thank you. I wanted you to see this video because Becky was a real live person. Becky was somebody's little girl. Becky was somebody's mother. Now she's a, she would have been a grandmother. Becky's life was very, very important. We want to solve this case. I am still convinced that if uh, this son came home and told his mom while he was intoxicated that I helped someone bury a body today. We could release more information, but that's what we're telling you. I'm convinced that if he was drunk and he told his mom, he's told more people. He has told people that are close to him. The family was kind of reluctant to come forward just a little bit. Why didn't they report this sooner? It's not their fault. They don't want to look bad. But the point of the matter is, there was no media on this case back in 1995. There was no missing person reported. The, the Sheriff's Department at that time, the lead person in charge decided, you know what, she left the area, she wasn't missing from Kitson County, she voluntarily left. We don't believe that today. The people that had the, some information, they didn't see any reports of a missing person. They thought it was drunk talk. But here we are today, we know it was real. We received credible information, we've been out digging with a backhoe. We've been looking with cadaver dogs and I'm convinced there's another person or two that know about it. Becky was a real person. 
let's talk about this case and let's give this family closure. Call the sheriff's office if you know something. Thank you.